The farming landscape of southern Alberta has experienced as much change as the urban landscape over the past 100 years. Parts of it look very much the same and parts of it would be unrecognizable to previous generations. Modern technology changed farm life as much as urban life, but in very different ways. We asked these young farmers what equipment they own today that their grandfathers admire, but like all modern advancement, some of it goes beyond what our grandparents imagined. That was a tough one because there's so many advances. I mean, I guess the, you know, I mean, they were, you know, back then when he came over, he didn't, they only started out with horses and stuff, right, and moved into tractors. So, I mean, it's, you know, you look at what's available now, there's just, you name something, any one thing, like, you know, he, everything from the way our grain is stored to the way it's harvested to the way it's seeded, I mean, it, it, it's just, yeah, yeah, I don't think that he could have ever envisioned where it's gone to now. You know, there's more grain stored in some guys' yards now than what was ever even in elevators. Pretty sure everything I have in the Quonset right now, he, it's uh, a lot different than it used to be and makes it a lot easier for us in certain conditions. I don't think he would get along well with the computer screens and uh, auto steer too well. Computerized equipment affected farming just as drastically as any other industry. These guys use equipment their forefathers couldn't imagine, but they are an important factor for farm efficiency today. GPS-guided tractors allow crop growers to precisely place seed, fertilizers, and pesticides. The same systems guide harvest work so that farmers spend less fuel getting the crop off. Precision farming in southern Alberta reduces the impact of farming activity on our landscapes and is an important part of sustainable farming. Well, the, the more efficient you can be, no matter what you're doing, the better. So if we can use GPS to reduce overlap, so we're not over applying fertilizer and pesticides in our overlap strips, that's always a benefit. Um, if we can overlap less and cut two full passes out of a field to still get the same coverage, we're burning that much less diesel fuel and anytime you can burn less fuel it's resources you can use in the future another day. Again it's 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 gonna come down to that old back thing of profitability right I mean you're it uh, like you say it cuts costs and, and makes things more consistent it, it, it allows um, us to manage our, our equipment and our, our property better and make it more you know again more sustainable right and, and make it more profitable and uh, make it so that we're not over applying and we're not under applying we're putting down what's required when it's needed at the rates it's needed. Well I think lots of it's trial and error. Um, we've got organizations like uh, Farming Smarter that are out there making great strides in, in uh, doing taking some of the legwork and uh, um, doing a great job uh, again you know finding out what are some of the better things to do out there and bringing them to, to practice in, uh, in our everyday lives on the farm. Farmers are dedicated professionals and play a number of roles including agronomist, conservationist, accountant, tech support, public relations, business manager and community leaders. Lifelong learning is a part of successful farming and these people seek out opportunities to learn. Farming Smarter helps them through our conference, crop walks, field school, website, and by acting as an information portal linking them with up-to-date research.